Hello, I am Ellis and this is Ellis's City Builds. This is where I show you my custom creations and city building ideas. Today I'm going to give an update on the recent progress in my Lego City. But first I'm going to show you how I organize my instruction manuals. I printed out new labels for these. I'm going to put those on the binders and I keep the manuals in sheet covers like these in the binders. This is a simple method and it keeps the manuals in very good condition. I have finished adding the parts of Barracuda Bay set to my city. I built a small bay in front of it with a dock on the right and a bridge to access the cargo terminal. I put plenty of detail around and in the bay and I am very happy with how this turned out. I like the Pirates of Barracuda Bay set very much. It has tons of detail. It has crates and pirates and cannons and animals and palm trees. Lots of In the last video I made, I showed some pick-a-brick pieces that I got from the Lego store. So I built a building here out of them. The top story is empty right now. It will most likely be an apartment and it has a fireplace in the corner and a large window. I got lots of bread pieces from the pick-a-brick wall so I decided to make the first story a bakery. I made a shelving unit with lots of bread and I will add a lot more details in this and the second story. I made all of the floors detachable with tiles. I like to do this with all of my custom buildings. This allows me to easily remove each story and see the inside of my buildings. On the roof I placed some fan or air conditioning machines. Across the street I have rearranged the hospital and the toy store and taken apart the old Lego Friends grocery store that was there. And I started to build a new grocery store that is mostly custom. I thought it would be interesting to show how I built all of these new additions. So I'm going to show a time lapse. I hope you enjoy. hope you enjoyed the speed build. I am now going to show you a method that I have for organizing my Lego pieces. I print out these small labels on label paper. They have a picture of the piece and the name of the piece on them. I sort my pieces by color and by type and then I place them in these drawers with the labels on them. This makes it very convenient for me to build things for my city. I hung up a paper curtain to keep the sunlight out of my city because sunlight can change the color 
and the quality of pieces. I have these drawers to the left of my desk. Here are some tools that I use for Lego, some remotes and separators. Here's some documents, mostly just diagrams and plans and catalogs. This drawer has various pieces, just random things. And this is my base plates and Star Wars items. I hope you liked my ideas for organizing Lego collections. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.